Okay, welcome to Daily Transmission. I got my man Gary King with me. Hello. Gary, you have been on every single Daily Transmission, I feel. Have I? In like the last couple months, yeah. Field reporter right here, you know what I'm saying? Ah, reporting live from Irwindale Speedway. How you doing? I'm doing well on yourself. Man, I'm good. I feel like you've been missing an action, man. Like, let the people know you're here. No, I haven't been missing an action, but we've, we've been doing a lot of things, right? We've been traveling, we've been doing cool stuff. VHS, check it out, main channel. So good to be riding. Anyway, let's get back to this, because this, this is tight. Our very last Burnyard event with the Terror Crew, this gentleman showed up. He rolled in in a Jeep. Cut to the beauties. What's up, man? Hey, man. Adam, how you doing? Good, 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 good. All right, so this man pulled up, commenced to throw down basically nothing but 40 inch tires burning for like a minute and a half straight. <laughs> I respect that. So let's get into this beast. This is a this is a 2009 Jeep Wrangler. We ended up putting a uh, Mass Motorsports uh, 427 cubic inch uh, LSX in it with a 2.9 Whipple on top. Can we see this? Yeah, of course. Can we see the goods? What made you go LS and not like Hellcat motor? Uh, Do you know how big yeah. a, a Hell crate is? Listen, man, I seen a, I was at Pikes Peak, I seen a Hellcat motor in one of these. I'll just ask him. The Hellcats do make some good power, but they're huge compared to this. Man. Man. For the amount of power you can make out of these, it's insane. What does this make? This one's about 930 horsepower. Say that again. 930 horsepower at 15 pounds of boost. He's spinning around fourth graders in <laughs> size tires and making 900 horsepower. That's, in math sense, that's a, that's a lot. Is yeah. it a lot but a little because of the wheel size? Uh, well. These tires will actually, once you get about a couple revolutions, they just turn to like butter. Hold on, let me climb up here just so you can see how tightly this is. Thank you, Gary. You're welcome, you're welcome. What uh, does this motor come out of? Uh, so this is actually like a GM performance block with a set of uh, billet heads. It was a hand-built engine from Mass. They slapped the blower on it and then they downed it before they sent it to me. Now, this looks pretty cool. I guess you had to fabricate this up to have the throttle body back here so you'd yeah. make it fit. Because, I mean, look at the, the space between yeah, we definitely used every piece of packaging we could in the engine bay. I mean, it got real tight real fast, especially with the blower. We did an oversized aluminum radiator that runs an oversized spall fan. And then with oh, yeah. that, with the blower in the front, we had to do a remote mounted throttle body. Oh, that's pretty cool. Well, who makes this throttle body, man? This thing uh, Nick Williams. Oh, sick. What size is that? 102 millimeter. Jesus. Okay. So it's a factory GM computer with a factory GM harness that basically interfaces and the whole factory Jeep dash works as it should. Nice. Everything in the cluster, air conditioning, heater, radio, all that stuff. It's got a remote mounted power steering system and then the pump's down there because it runs ram assist on the uh, steering. Yeah. To turn the tires easier. Let's look at that. Oh, so it's basically like a hydro boost kind of. Yeah, basically. Okay. So we built a custom three link for it. The ram assist is actually mounted up high out of the way. Oh, that's cool. The rear is a four link and then the front's air bumps and king shocks. The rear's air bumps and king shocks. We actually re just redid the front shock mounts to gain a little more engine bay room. And it's about 74 inches wide. It's a little wider than most, but it's, it's much more stable for being a two-door. Nice. Dude, one thing I noticed when you were pulling this off the trailer was how this pumpkin is clocked like this. Yeah, that's a Curry Enterprise's 60 front axle, and then there's a matching Curry 70 in the rear. And they angle the differentials to kind of keep them out of the rocks when you're wheeling. Um, and then it also gives you a little more clearance when you're cycling suspension because you don't have a differential that's vertical up and down so we're able to bump it out a little bit lower nice is there any performance loss from that so they add a couple passages for extra oiling on the pinion support and then the rear axle actually has a uh, load bolt that when the pinion gets under load and kind of flex it prevents the pinion from getting too much deflection that you could break something oh cool let's go check out that rear We've kind of been building this over like three or four years it's gone through a couple stages uh, I've kind of learned a lot between converting uh, LS conversions in JKs and Jeeps in general. Um, the rear of this is the 
Curry Enterprise S70, um, and then we did a custom tranny cooler that's mounted underneath the rear section of the vehicle that holds two fans for cooling. Oh, damn, this. So what kind of like, what kind of man hours do you have in this thing? Man, I, I don't know, if I had to guess, there's probably like 200 hours into it at least. Two, 200, that's it? Uh, it's well, got to be more than that. It's every every year. It's kind of like it gets torn apart and something gets improved or I, I ditch a design and improve it to make it better. And I mean, it's it's definitely been a learning curve for sure because it's like pushing the limits of what people are doing with these things. Yeah. So what do you use this vehicle for? Um, uh, to promote my business, really. Flexing, Gary. <laughs> Flexing hard. I'm, I'm trying to get on his level, man. <laughs> I think we all are. I mean, look at this. This is this is tight. What trans are you running? Uh, so it's a fully built 4L80 with a manual valve body. Oh, cool. And then we uh, had a local guy build some stainless headers, um, specifically for this chassis, which ties into a dual three and a half inch stainless exhaust. You've done a few of these LS swaps in these JKs, right? Yeah, we actually have one in the shop right now. It's a four that's getting a 700 horsepower LS7. Okay, that's awesome. <laughs> what kind of time should somebody expect to try to do an LS swap? What are the big things you run into? It's really packaging and how much horsepower you want to push through it because everything else has to match the power you're pushing through the vehicle. We usually do like six, 700 horsepower range and you can fit a large enough radiator that keeps it cool. I mean, obviously if you're going to sit on the limiter for three or four minutes, you're going to run into naturally hotter temperatures, but generally the hardest part is just getting it in there and fitting it as well. And then it depends on, you know, there's transmission options. Do you want a 6L80 fully automatic? Do you want a manual valve body 4L80? And then the exhaust system is specific to each chassis. It's not, as much as I'd like it to be a cookie cutter, it's not. It's basically a ground up every single build and every one of them is a little bit different depending on the engine package you pick for it. Nice. But this proves that it's doable with close to basically a thousand horsepower in a two-door chassis, which is the hardest. Most four-doors lend you for a lot more real estate, and this, yeah. is, this, is, this is the smallest it would ever be. Damn, this thing's wild. Can we uh, open this up, see what's yeah. up in the inside? All right, so what do we got going on in here? So we built a custom shifter mount for the transmission. Um, we also just installed a steering wheel mount because the, lar the larger steering wheel is a little harder to throw around, so we have a smaller one in there that makes wheeling it a little bit better. And then, like I was saying, the glove box on real estate is where the uh, brakes booster is and the control box for all of the switches in the vehicle. Oh, wow. So does this still have air conditioning? Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't mind feeling that right now. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, no, I tried to keep the interior as stock as possible still, it's, so it's still relatable to most people that are going to want to build it. I mean, we could totally do an aluminum dash and race pack or Motec, all that stuff, but this is still attainable to the average consumer that's still gonna want to take it around town and still have the comfort of an interior. Uh huh. The back of this is actually the 20 gallon fuel cell, uh, aeromotive fuel system, and then the battery is covered by this sub box at the same time because there's essentially no more room in this chassis. Totally. Now what kind of gas mileage did you get with this thing? Three or four. See, that ain't bad. <laughs> Three or four 20 gallons, I, I guess, if you want It gets about 100, 100 miles to the tank. That's good. That's, that's, that's quality, especially on 40s here. Well, you think you fire it up so we can see how it sounds? Oh, yeah, of course. Now, he's actually got some mufflers on it. It's drivable, it's streetable. That's good chop for a lot of muff. Yeah. Yeah. Four mufflers, and it's still pretty loud. Oh, yeah. Do you hate being seen out in public? Do you envy John Cena? Do you perhaps want to join a random militia at a moment's notice? Hoonigan's got just the thing for you. New Hoonigan camo t-shirt and hoodies. Available in both t-shirt and hoodie. Camouflage, so people can't see you in everyday life. Camouflage, so you can hide from all of your personal shame. You want to send that one uncle that touched you into a tailspin of Vietnam flashbacks? This is the perfect gift for you. Are you looking for the perfect outfit? To match that old truck sitting up on super swampers that you're taking your high school date to, even though you've been out of high school for the last 13 years, this is it. Head on over to Hoonigan.com, go to the store, buy some stuff. Well, I think it's about time we party. What do you think? Yeah, let's All do it. You into that, Gary? Very into that. I'm excited for this.
getting pelted with hot rubber. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this thing spins them easy. Yeah, no, it, uh, it'll almost do it pretty much 180 when you slide it into the corners. Dude, this is red. Is it even hot? Uh, it gets like 250, 260. You gotta let it catch up for a little bit, but... Okay. I mean, a thousand horsepower in a Jeep Wrangler is a little rough on it, but I mean, the training stays ice cold, 160. Hell yeah. Dude. But it's like riding a roller skate. Hell yeah. <laughs> we gonna party some more? Yeah, we'll give it a little few minutes to catch up a little bit. Cool down, speed through, action. Things rowdy. Wow. I'm over it. Wow.